Hello friends and welcome to Vlogmas Day 26. Yes, I'm still calling it 26, even though on Instagram, I did let you guys know that I took a day off. However, I still fulfilled Vlogmas because technically it goes to the 25th, and I've just decided to keep it going till the end of the month. So we will have 30 videos instead of 31, but that is something I'm awfully proud of because normally in a Vlogmas year, I have two weeks off during it, which makes it far more sustainable and doable. But this year I worked all the way up to Christmas. So I fulfilled Vlogmas while working my full time, beyond full time job and filming every day. It's something I'm really proud of. I'm also really proud of myself because I've told you guys um, pretty recently that I've struggled with filming myself and filming in general, and I have filmed and deleted it. So to get through 25 days, and now soon to be 30 days of filming every day, has really, really helped me. But you have helped me the most. Your love and your kindness has made this Vlogmas, although one of the most um, busy in my life, you have made it the most enjoyable. And really memorable this year. I. I don't know, I just had so much fun. So much fun. And I thank you, your comments, your messages on Instagram, I know I cannot get to all of them, but I read every single one. The likes, the sharing, all of those things really matter. If you look behind me, there are no signs of Christmas. Yesterday, I got in a cleaning mode while I could, and I just dove straight in. I did leave this arrangement, I just added some different pine branches into it, but, Everything is cleared out, which in all honesty, I put it up so early, it feels pretty good to get it. <laughs> Mabel, that is not very ladylike. Um, it is nice to get it all cleared out. I am leaving this garland up. I took the second one down, but I have plans for this one for New Year's, but the house is just super clean. I, I haven't even put everything back out because I'm just enjoying the house being, oh. Painting this room white is still, painting that room white and then up the staircase white was one of the best decisions I've made. I just love how like crisp and bright it is. I also think it like lets this space really work. Hi doggies, oh. Also, I will link this down below because you are all asking about this tabletop fire pit. Now, it is for every table. I'm going to be honest with you. I have a porcelain heat-proof salad plate under mine just to protect my table even further. But I could tell you, this does... It gets hot, but not like... Like, I can still, like, actually touch it. Like, it's not that hot. But it gets very warm, but I keep a heat proof porcelain plate under and I always just keep an eye on it. It also comes with a little snuffer so you can snuff it out if you need to. It just burns the alcohol you would buy at the drugstore or your grocery store. You put a little bit in, it burns for no longer than 40 minutes at a time until it goes out itself, but it just sets like such a great mood and I love it. It is snowing a little bit outside today. The wind is finally calm. It's supposed to warm up towards the end of the week, but it's still pretty cold today. But yeah, look how, oh, it just feels so much bigger and like, feels like I can breathe a little bit. When you put up your decorations as early as me, you are excited to take them down and I love Oh, that's our coffee machine. And I love just having the house so nice and clean. All right, I'm gonna make myself a bowl of cereal and then we'll see what the day holds. I cannot do anything in peace. I am making a bowl of cereal and I have one, two doggies just like scouting me out at all times. 
What do you think of Mabel May? You are so pretty. And you are so handsome. I am just having some cornflakes as basic as that is and some banana. I only really make breakfast when we have company or like a special occasion. I'm not, I actually prefer like very simple breakfast. Let me know how you feel. Like I love a good like weekend brunch if I'm going out, but then you're also eating it around lunchtime, which feels different for breakfast. I like it simple. Some days it's even just a cup of coffee, as bad as I know that is for me. But today is like truly old school cornflakes. The only reason I got cornflakes is because I would typically get bran flakes, but they were out of them. I don't know why you were out of them. Perhaps everyone was anticipating digestive issues over the week, uh, over the holidays. Are you a heavy milk person or a light milk? I do not like a ton of milk in my cereal. Some milk from the dairy. And that is breakfast. Bon appetit. Follow me all week for more recipes. Hey, yo. Hi, yo. Hi. What? You have to go do your business. Come on. Come on, go do business, go do business, <laughs> it's not play time, go do business. Oh, you're a mess, you're a mess, Mabel, please go do your business, we're not eating snow right now. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> He's so over her. What? Quit eating the snow. Look here. Oh. <laughs> Everything is a game to her. Come on, please go to the bathroom. She... <laughs> Gets so wound up, she doesn't know what to do. She just like yanks grass out. <clears throat> it was a disaster. It was a disaster. It was a disaster. Oh, it's snow. I'll see your face. Look at that beard. Can you please go to the potty? She will pee in Stephen's office the instant I take her inside. I know it. Go potty. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. If you want respect, give respect. Grant Hill. Stand in front of a mirror and look at yourself in the eyes. Think about what it means to you to be respected. How do you show respect to others? So these are coming from my Oprah Daily Inspirations. I was going to wait until the new year to start them, but I really felt the need to start them this week as I'm really thinking about going into the next year with a different focus. And I have a new journal on the way and I plan on using these as like jumping off points for some daily journaling that I'm going to do. But I'm really, really enjoying them. I also have my Citrine, a gift from Abby. And if you're not following me on Instagram, Breathe at Home is offering you guys a 20% discount until the 31st of all of their holiday decor and ornaments. It is only for you, and it is um, promo code VLOGMAS20. At checkout, it'll save you 20% off of their holiday items and decor. So go check them out. I'll leave everything linked down below. <clears throat> but like I said, I'm kind of using these cards as like a journaling jumping point. My new journal comes on Friday and I can't wait, but I'm going to write a little bit and then we're going to go through my planner. My planner system for the year involves two. So I have all of the Louis Vuitton agendas. I have the PM, the MM, the GM, and the desk agenda. I like the desk agenda because I feel like I can personalize it a little bit more and I'm just really happy with 
not having to open up the rings every single time. I'm actually thinking of selling my desk agenda. I just haven't decided because I had one and sold it and then I immediately bought another one. So I'm afraid if I sell it, I will just want another one anyway. I love this because with the disc bound in the desk agenda, it's so personalizable. Is that a word? Personalizable? I think I just made that up. You can so much better personalize it. Plus, as a left-hander who likes to pull out the papers and write once in a while, I love the disc bound because you can easily pop them out and pop them back in. So that's why I lean towards the desk agenda. I feel like it just works better for me. So when you open up my agenda, I just have some cards from cloth and paper, as well as one of the ornaments from my diptyque uh advent calendar that i'm using kind of as like a little bookmark and i love the way it looks and i have like a little manifesto and then just a magnetic clip in case i need it then on this page are pockets for my uh paper flags and then you open it up and i just have this vellum piece that has like a bunch of quotes or messaging on it i've never actually taken the time to read it then you have your opening page. I haven't put any of my personal information because I knew I wanted to film. And then on my label maker, I put my name. So I just like, like the look of the label maker. I'll leave mine linked below for you as well. Then for the desk agenda, I prefer top tabs just because they're easier to work with. Like I said, everything is from cloth and paper but I will leave that site linked below. And if I can link the individual pieces, I will as well. My discs are metal discs from cloth and paper as well. If you open my first section, it is my 2023 year at a glance. It has holidays and observances. And then year overviews. What I like about a year overview is I can jot down like some anticipated things coming up before I put them on my calendar because those might change. So this is kind of like where in meetings and things I'll jot down like upcoming things. However, I won't put them on my monthly spread yet until I know that they are confirmed for the month because I hate like having a bunch of things that have maybe moved or changed. And then this is just a reflection journaling prompt for each month and I use it to kind of bookmark. So I have that month. So then you get to your monthly spreads. I'm going to go ahead and jump to February because I have some personal information in January already there. But these are beautiful pieces of vellum that I got from Cloth and Paper that are initialed for the month. And then there's like a beautiful graphic. And I love that vellum lets you see the graphic through it. And then you have a place for notes, a place for goals, a place for intentions, bills that month, as well as like a running checklist for to-dos. And then you have your monthly spread where you can start plugging in things that are occurring. And then you have important dates to highlight that month, another note section, another running to-do list, which I just love. And I have those for each month of the year. And I just find them to be so beautiful and clean. I like a clean planner. So I went ahead and put all of the year in. So then you have my second tab, which this is my visual manifesto or like really my goal setting and then you have spaces for all of your vision boards so i haven't gone through and created all these yet that's probably something i'll do in the next week and i'll definitely share that with you but i have all of these vision boards to work through which i'm excited to do so and then at the end of your vision board you have a year in review this year what were the important events things to remember accomplishments how am I different goals for next year? And then just like an overall yearly summary. Then you go into my third tab, which I just put this piece of vellum in because I had it. It's a digital declutter, things to do daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly. I haven't applied to any of these yet, but I think they're really great. One is set times for social media, disable push notifications, take breaks. Backup files, close open tabs, restart devices. It really has like a great go-to digital declutter system. 
This is where I also have my habit trackers, which will start January 1st. What I love about this one is that it's so simple to follow. So you list your habits here, you track them here, and then you can write notes regarding those habits in this section. So I devote one habit to each of these boxes and jot down some notes. And I have 12 months of those already prepped and ready. Then you go into my fourth and last tab, and this is where my weekly spreads are. So this is a weekly reflection for journaling that just has some prompts. And then I have still the end of December in here. I've not really done anything because I'm off work right now, but they're very simple. Just tasks, your agenda, and then notes for that day. That is always what I gravitate to the most, is something simple and clean. But those are my weekly and daily spreads, my monthly spread, and kind of how I've set this up. Now, in my MM is where I put more or less like personal things or like YouTube things is how I'm planning on using this. So this is just, again, an assortment of cards, a little magnetic tab, some page flag holders. I have my year overview. I plan on using this to scope and sequence out personal life stuff as well as like videos I wanna shoot for that month. So that's just that year overview. Then I have the same thing I did in the other pages where it is just a smaller version of that monthly spread. Once again, using the top tabs because I just prefer them. I have the same beautiful vellum pieces in this as well. My third tab, your own story, is kind of like a mood tracker, affirmations, inspiration. And my goal is to kind of keep track of things that inspire me or things that I see and maybe even put little pictures within that. And then this is just a tracker for purchases. I want to get better this year at like tracking my like purchases. Sometimes I order things and forget that I've ordered them and I want to be a little bit more organized with that. So I have just a purchase tracker in the back and then some extra blank pages that I haven't decided how I'll use them, but they're just like simple gridded pages with empty blank spots as well. I just haven't decided how I want to use those yet. And then one last piece of like hard plastic to protect the back. But that is kind of how I have set up my MM. And I plan on kind of using these two together. One for work um, and one more for YouTube planning and personal information and things like that. But that is my 2023 setup for this year and I'm really excited about it. He is really excited about it too. He's just choosing not to show it right now. All righty, friends. So I was just editing the vlog and it's actually pretty decently long and I'm pretty pleased with it. So I'm actually going to wrap it up today so that I can enjoy the rest of my day and relax. And that's what I'm going to try to do over these next couple vlogs that I have left in December. I know a lot of you want to talk through organization and storage. I plan on talking through that either tomorrow or the day after. I don't film that because it triples the time it takes. And I think if I had minimal decorations to break down, I totally would film it. But with the amount that I have, filming it would take me days then to break it all down. But I'm going to talk through my favorite storage pieces and how I organized and put away this year because it's different than I've ever done any other year. I've typically organized by theme, but this year I started a new system, which I'll probably still be working on in January and February as I finalize it and get everything sorted exactly the way I envision it. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today and I'll let you guys go. So take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye, friends.